Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's occasional okay, series. For once today, it's not a MATLAB tutorial and it's actually a simple visual basic tutorial. So, what I'd like to do today is read in a text file <coughs> um, into Visual Basic, reverse the string, and then write the uh, the output to file, write the reverse output to file. So, I have some code here. So, I've on this line here, I've um, declared the path to the file which is called test.txt. On this line here, I've declared a string, and the string is to the input output dot file dot read all text my file, and my file is defined up there. Uh, we have a counter here, which will give me the number of uh, string length, and uh, just to remember. Uh, if we were you, you, if we we're reading this into array, it'd be uh, zero instead of one. Um, I've used a character as car and string reverse as string, and I've initialized the reverse string or string reverse here as uh, null. And <coughs> here on this line here, uh, I just want to say that the original string is whatever it is. There's a for loop here, <coughs> so what we want to do here is we want to say for x equal to length of 10 string minus 1. So we're going to go backwards <coughs> and the file we're going to look at is just my name, that's Anselm, that's A-N-S-E-L-M. So we're going to read in M first and the L second, etc. So we're going to pick out the character and we're using this command called mid. So we're looking at temp string, which is A-N-S-E-L-M. Uh, X on the very first go is going to be the last one, which is position six, and for a length of one. So we're going to start at position six, and how many characters we're going to take? We're going to take one character, which is M. I'm going to, that's the character we get, and I'm going to add that character onto the string string reversed. So we loop round again. Now x is now 5. So character equals mid temp string that's a n s e l m position 5 for length of 1. Uh, so we take l. So string reversed equals string reverse which is m plus l etc. Okay. I just there, just to check that everything's okay, I did a message box just to output the reverse string to screen. And on this line here, I'm writing the reverse string to file. Just see so if we can center there a little bit. So my computer dot file system to write all text to the path, and the path includes the file name test1.txt. What I'm writing to, where the mouse is here, string reverse, and dot false means Every time I run it, I'll overwrite the original. If I said true, I'd append the context, but or I'd append the text onto the previous one. But so it would false. I just I will overwrite every time I run it. Okay. What I did then was I'm going to read in the reverse the the I'm going to read in the file that I just wrote out to file, and so I it's called as before. Uh, my file one test dot test one dot text. I've declared temp string. I read it in there just like we did above, and then I just output it. Okay, so let's run this. Very simple. So the original entry is Anselm. The original string is Anselm. The reverse string is my name backwards, ML, etc. And there's the reverse string, and just that's the. I wrote the file and I read it back in and I've outputted the screen. Okay, so <coughs> thanks very much for listening. Hope that helped a little. <coughs>